Thank you very much, everybody. Right, we've got a real special group of dogs here today from all different rescue um, centres that are going to show just what they can do. Now, first up, I'd like you all to give a big round of applause for this dog because Lucas, who's up first, has only done five hours worth of agility training before venturing into this arena. So, as soon as Michelle is ready, we will get Lucas going. Let's give Lucas a big round of applause to get him started, and off he goes through the tunnel. He's only been, and he's off, and he's decided that actually those five hours worth of training just wasn't quite enough. So, whilst we retrieve Lucas, let's get going with um, Sophie, who is a bit more experienced than you may recognize from being here before. So, Sophie and Twiggy, um, Twiggy came into Battersea originally due to her owner no longer being able to look after her. Twiggy looks slightly differently to what she does now. She was extremely overweight and had to be on a strict diet, which is one of the reasons why Sophie started doing agility with her. And as you can see, she's lost all of that weight and isn't she doing well with agility. Let's give her a round of applause. And this little chap here who's extremely quick is Buster. Buster is a crossbreed from Val Grays. He's just over three years old and he was originally sold out of the back of a van and then his new owners weren't able to care for him. Luckily, um, Julian took over, rescued him and they fell in love at first sight and he soon became an addition to their family. Let's give him a big round of applause. Well done. Bailey is up next. Bailey is actually, would you believe it, 12 and a half years old. But he doesn't think so. He thinks he's only two. Um, this year is his last demonstration dog. He's going to be retired after this. So let's give him a massive round of applause to cheer him on over his last time through the tunnel here at Crafts. Well done, Bailey. OK. And up next is Marley. Um, I think we should all sing Marley a little song because tomorrow is his birthday. So he's going to be six years old tomorrow. Um, so he came into rescue when he was only eight weeks old. So it's not just the young ones. It's not just the old dogs that come into rescue, but the young ones too. He came in as a puppy and he's decided that as it's his birthday, he's deciding which way round he wants to go and what he wants to do on the agility track. So let's give him a round of applause. Wish him very well, big happy birthday for tomorrow. Well done, everybody. OK. Right, we have our next group coming up. Let's give these guys a big round of applause. Well done. OK, so up next and going first is Jessie, the bearded collie. So, Jessie came from the National, An National Animal Welfare Trust. Um, she was found near the A30 on a half-term weekend, um, which is why she's actually really worried by vehicles and cars. She's been competing for about seven years now, and Sue hopes that they'll get to grade four this year. Sue says she's never been a cross champion, but will always be her champion. Aww. Um, her pet name is Messy Jessie, because although she's got quite long fur, she doesn't like being groomed. OK, so next up is um, Tilly. Tilly is a lab cross. Um, Tilly was found at just 10 weeks old and a week after Christmas. So Tilly has been doing agility for several years now. She loves it. Becky says she's super excited, which she's demonstrating here. And she loves to tell everyone how excited she is by using her voice and barking her way around. It was a surprise to Becky that such a nervous dog to begin with could grow in such a loud and exuberant dog. And such a quick dog as well. Should we give her a cheer to help her around him and encourage her up over that apron? Well done, people. And over the jumps she goes. And if she can control her excitement, we might just make it through the tunnel. Yay! Well done, Tilly. OK, I have Dino up next. So Dino arrived at Fantasy Dogs and Cats home um, as a stray when Kate and Daniel initially took him. He was very excitable. 
we go with the collie next. So let's give this dog a big round of applause. He's decided he's not going to do it. He's going to go back into the... He's going to decide which way round he wants to go. Ah, we'll have a think about it. Over the jumps we go. Let's give him a big round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. So all of these rescue dogs are doing so, so well. And if you think none of these dogs have had the best start in life, but it just goes to show that with a little bit of training, how brilliantly they can do. And that was, I think, almost a perfect round after that initial little two. So well done. Let's give them a big round of applause. Right, our next group are coming up now. So, up next is Fern the Collie Cross from Wood Green. Fern was given up as a five-month-old puppy because she had various issues, such as chasing cars, bikes and joggers and things like that. But actually, with a bit of training and putting all of that into agility, as you can see, all of that energy is being used on the agility course and she's racing through. Um, Fern's her, Fern is a very cheeky and naughty little dog. But there's never a dull moment with her in your life. OK, up next is Molly the Lurcher. This is Molly's first time here, so let's give Molly a big round of applause. Molly had um, been found dumped and tied to a lamppost. She's approximately eight years old, and not only is she doing amazingly in agility, but she's also a pet dog. So having been rescued only in 2006, she's gone on to achieve so much. And let's give her a round of applause for doing so well today. Well done, Molly. OK, Lexi is a rotty cross. <laughs> and she is quite big, slightly bigger than the others. So the wheat poles might be a bit tricky for her. She has a unique way. She does loads and loads of training. And um, one of the things she enjo enjoys doing is scent training. And unlike most dogs, her way of indicating on a scent is to actually roll over on her back. So most dogs will stay still and show that there's a scent or bark, but she thinks the most best way is to roll over. Let's give her a big, big round of applause as she comes through that tunnel. Well done, let's see. OK, this is Matty. Now, there's a reason why Matty is called Matty and why his, uh, why his coat is also kept so short. Because otherwise, it becomes a tangled mess, so he becomes Messy Matty. Um, he was found as an unwanted puppy from a puppy farm in Wales. He was rehomed at four months old. Um, and this is actually Dave's first agility dog. So I think we need to give Dave a big round of applause for doing so well with Matty. This is Tally the Border Collie, extremely quick as she goes through those weaves. She's Sarah's first agility dog, and she's managed to get her all the way up to grade six. Um, then, sadly, Tally injured her back legs two years ago, and although she's made full recovery now, as you can see, um, she only generally jumps lower jumps and hurdles um, and goes into the veteran class. Well done, everybody. Let's give them a massive round of applause. OK, so what's happening now is that we're lowering all of the equipment because we have a slightly different group of dogs coming in. As you can see, their size is um, a little bit smaller than the other guys that we had in. And their legs are a little bit shorter, so we're going to lower the jumps so that they can get over them. Um, if you are interested in rescuing a dog, please do come visit us at one of the stands. Um, all of the charities are out there, and everybody would be more than happy to talk to you. So, let's get going with Basil, the Terrier Cross. Um, off he goes. Basil was a um, slightly unplanned addition to the family in May 2011. Um, Alison already has five dogs, but unfortunately fell in love with Basil at first sight. He looked tiny, scared, and basically looked like a little meerkat. He was two and a half years old and frightened of everyone, but I think it's safe to say that agility has helped him overcome some of his fears, and he's done really well, so let's give him a round of applause. This is Holly coming over now. She's a Collie Cross Springer. She came into Valgrave's Border Re Collie Rescue from Ireland in October 2011 when she was five months old. She's considering which bits of the agility equipment she prefers. Oh, and she is going to go off and do it. On meeting, no, maybe not. Maybe she's just going to prove me wrong. 
On meeting her, Robin immediately fell in love with her. She's a very happy dog, full of fun and mischief, as she just showed us. She'll do anything for a treat um, and has learned lots of tricks. And she thought that was the end of it. So should we give her a round of applause and help her over those last few jumps? Up the A-frame, making up her course. I just don't think she wants to finish. Well done, Molly. Holly, sorry. OK. This is Ollie. Now, we're going to see what Ollie does today, because he has two sides of him. Ollie either goes extremely quickly, as he's doing now, or he decides that he wants to go really, really slowly and basically walks the um, course instead of racing around it like he's done today. So I think, purely for the fact that he's made it all the way through so quickly, he deserves a big round of applause. Now, this is Skip the Jack Russell Cross. Um, Gladys visited the centre with the intention of getting a Collie Cross Labrador. Um, ended up with something slightly different with Skip, who was jumping up and trying to get her attention. And then, as they say, the rest is history. Um, Gladys originally started agility in the 80s with her first dog, who was very shy and needed lots of socialising. She caught the bug and has been competing ever since with all of her dogs. So give them a big round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. And let's give them an even bigger round of applause as all of the dogs come out now from all the rescue centres that have taken part. And we have a little baby joining us for the little <laughs> lap of honour. So, ladies and gentlemen, if you would like to come and see any of the stands, come down. We're all in halls three, and I think most of us are in hall three. Bassley Dogs and Cats Home, let's give them a big round of applause. National Animal Welfare Trust, let's give them a massive round of applause. We've got Wood Green coming up next, and we've got Val Grays here in the purple. So, if you're thinking about getting a dog, and here comes Blue Cross as well, if you're thinking about getting a dog, um, Rescue dogs might be for you. We get all sorts, as you can see here, all shapes and sizes, all with different temperaments, all suited to different environments. So do come and have a chat to us. Tell us what you're looking for, and I'm sure that between all of us, we'll be able to find you something suitable. Thank you.